Hey there everyone, this is DarkGL and welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft 1.7.10! Yeah! Um, between last episode and this one, I updated my mod pack to be the 1.0.1 version of the Direwolf 20 mod pack, not my mod pack, I mean. And uh, yeah, uh, as I relogged, this machine was not working. So I had to uh, to break it and place it back down. That's 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 it. And also I went mining, and I have to say the sweet spot to mine iron is around level 31, 30 ish, uh, because I got plenty of iron, and as you can see, there's a lot in dust form right now. So yeah, I mined a lot of iron. Uh, at that level. So yeah, now that I got iron, let's make a planter because uh, I want to automate the, the thing for my trees, you know? Uh, so yeah, this is gonna be fairly easy, as you can see. Oh, I need clay. I don't have clay. Okay, well, I'll be back when I find clay. Alright, it seems that in the river beside my house, <laughs> well, at least what serves as a house, there's clay. So, uh, hey, I'm gonna grab stuff in there. Uh, hopefully not drown. There we go. Ah, it's getting dark outside. I don't like when in, I'm in the darkness. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try to not die at all during this series. Uh, you know... It's it's about my pride, you know? <laughs> Honor stuff potato. So yeah, let's let's get back in inside the house and do what I wanted to do. After I sleep, of course. Cause I don't want enemies spawning. <laughs> Actually that's gonna bite me in, in the back uh later. In the butt, should I say. Uh yeah, because I'm gonna need to uh to get mob drops like ender pearls and uh, uh, gunpowder, and I won't have any because I did not kill any enemies, you know. So yeah. Also, I could probably make myself an iron armor um, because I have a lot of iron now. That would be better for me. So let's start with this planter thingy. I got a flower pot. What do I need? I need a machine frame. Do I have a lot of tin? Yes, I do. Is it one copper, three tin? Yes, it is. Good. Memory serves right. And I need copper gears. Is that the other way around for those? I forget. It's either iron or tin. No, it's iron. Yay! <laughs> Actually, tin, in my head, tin will make sense, because tin and copper alloy very well in real life, so, yeah, I need, ah, darn, I need to cook this. Uh, will you please uh, stop baking iron? I, uh, yeah, waiting! <laughs> I should cut this out, but, you know, it's the beginning of the series, I don't have much to do. Hey, XP. I got, I'm level 30 right now, that's crazy. Uh, the new leveling mechanics since Minecraft 1.6 or 1.5, uh, it's it's very crazy. Uh, where's my glass? There it is. So do I have enough to make this? Where's my iron? There it is. Let's try this. Yay! Machine frame. Uh, gold, I need uh, redstone, this, this, reception coil, machine frame, this like this, and uh, my pot, and two pistons, and plastic. I got plastic. Do I have pistons? I have one of them. Uh, I don't have wood. Where's my wood? Can you give me wood? Thank you. 
Uh, I'm using wood to uh, press R. I'm using wood. Wait, what? What key did I press? I said R. R. There we go. What the hell? Ah, I need redstone. Dang it, it. Oh, this endeavor for nothing. Uh, yeah, I use wood to uh, fuel my uh, furnace, my my generator. I took a, a few extra piston because they're always easy. Uh, I I'm, I cannot talk. <laughs> I uh, let's let's start with this. I use wood because wood is very efficient in that kind of generator, and it's easier to come by than uh, coal. Okay. Second thing, I made a couple extra pistons because uh, you always use pistons uh, in modern Minecraft because a lot of recipes need pistons. So yeah, hey, I got a planter now. So I will go over there and I will plant my planter right about here. Um, I will I will take charge of, of uh, the underground. A bit later to have power going there. Uh, right, I don't have conduits from thermal expansion. Huh. Anyways, uh, yeah, I will place upgrades in this and this to make them go further. Uh, but first, I need to uh, craft a. Uh, Rubber hammer, sledgehammer, I think. Sledge, yes, it's sledgehammer. I need plastic sheets, which I have, and the sticks. So, yeah, I show you. Like, when you hold a preci precision sledgehammer, you will see that there are some squares happening. This is the range of your machines. Like, this machine acts for this. Now, if I get it an upgrade, which I believe I can make if I have some copper or some tin, uh, which one do I want to make? Let's, 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 hang on. Upgrade. Uh, I want to make iron upgrades. Uh, the radius increase of three works from both sides. Uh, I will explain what I mean by that a bit later, uh, but first I need ingots, uh, ingots, nuggets. I already had one, so I'm gonna reform my ingot because, uh, yeah, I like it that way. And I will make raw plastic. I already have, and I need redstone. Was it redstone? Where's my? Oh, there it is. So if I'm not mistaken, this, this, this. And iron. There we go. So, uh, like, I just made an upgrade. Uh, iron. And if I install this in my uh, planter, you will notice that the radius is now 9. Like, it's a square of 9 by 9, so 81. And that's because, like, the initial radius is 3. And if you do plus 3, it's 1, 2, 3 from each side. So take that into mind. Like, I, I use, like, I thought, uh, I cannot talk. Um, when I first started Mine Factory Reloaded, I thought, like, the, the si increase 6 radius was 6 total. But no, it was 6 and 6. So a total of 15. And that was, like, too much for what I wanted. So, uh, yeah, remember that it's a radius from where it starts, like, you just three, like, just count block by block, it's gonna be easier. Uh, there's also a minus upgrade, yeah, cobblestone upgrade, uh, that, that's if you want only one uh, square. Yeah, so I'm gonna make another of those upgrades, so in the end, I still need my, <laughs> my gold nugget, good. So let's do this, uh, blah, 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 because I need one for the harvester, right, right, right. Also, I'm going to be taking some of the bushes. Uh, ideally, I want nine of them. Uh, seven, eight, nine, good. 
So I'm gonna place uh, this upgrade in the harvester like this. So everything should merge and fuse the color like it's additive color. I don't know. Uh, what am I saying? Ah, I picked eight. I thought I picked nine. Dang it. Ah, oh, I should plan this before, you know. But, meh, wasting a bit of time. I don't care. <laughs> so let's see what's the edge of this. Uh, right about here, that's good. Ah, shovel! Yeah, that is good. Okay, let's do this. So, like, these won't do much for now, but once they are fully grown, uh, the harvester will pick the fruits. And uh, I won't have to, uh, to, to mind too much anymore. So let's place these like this and this, right? Black and red, I did wrong. So green and purple. So yeah, that should be good. Now I want to tell them, hey, I don't want anything elsewhere. Yeah, that should be good. And place these there. Uh, this won't do much because this does not receive power so far. I need to come up with a better power solution. Uh, let's see over there. Like this. Uh, let's grab the saplings. Oh, I already had some. I, I'm basically making a farm right now because I want my uh, food problems to be solved and um, this should be good right right uh, let's see ah it's getting night already what really yeah it is uh, let's see I don't have much power but that would have to do for now uh, what else do I want in my farm because uh, I don't think I have much to place No, I don't. <laughs> uh, I cannot place the the orberry bushes because they have to be in the dark on stone, and they take a very long while to grow up. So uh, yeah, it's not worth it to place them right now. Uh, I would like some sugar cane. Yeah, I'm gonna sleep in bed for now. And I'm gonna grab water and make a, a sweet little sugarcane farm. Uh, how should I do this though? Uh, how can I make this as efficient as possible? I could place water in the middle and have four sugar canes there. And have cacti on the corner. I have that. Um, I don't know. Would that be good? I really don't know. I know that I don't have cacti right now, so... Uh, I cannot be uh, annoyed with the question. So, will you harvest? Yes, you will. Okay. Uh, see? There's a, an amount of power that accumulated in the harvester. And it goes fast, so... Yay! But it drains from there. Oh well. So yeah, I got a little nifty farm for now. I mean, it's not perfect. I still need to uh, to find a way, because uh, I'm not a fan of Bullcraft energy pipes. Uh, well, the new way they work, uh, especially. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't have access to conduit. Energy transfer node. That costs a lot, don't it? Yeah, I don't have a QED. How? Uh, pipe. Uh, energy pipe. Energy extraction pipe. But I, I think I still need an energy node for those, so that won't do. Huh. 
Oh, dang. That's bad. I, uh... Can I... Wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't, don't leave, uh, sugarcane. Can I place a glass there? Will my sugarcane go away if there's glass? I don't think, because I was able to plant it, so... Hey! Okay, guys, I will be back. Uh, I need to think of a way to uh, transfer energy. So, uh, please give me a second. Okay, I've thought of a way. And that is with Ender IO. The energy conduit from Ender IO uh, seems to transfer RF. So, uh, I'm gonna be using that. Yay! Also, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Give me a second, please. Alright, I, uh, yeah, these things are cooking, and there's a lot per, uh, blend, so that's good. Uh, what else do I need? Conductive iron, what is that? Hey, I need an alloy, an alloy smelter. Hey, guess who has an alloy smelter? Uh, yeah, iron and, okay. So I need three for how many? Eight. Uh, that's about eight. I'm gonna make two sets just in case, so I need six. Six. Aha! So, uh, yeah, we're gonna be waiting for that to cook up. Yay! I'll be back. Alright, I have had this idea because I'm running out of power. I'm gonna be making a culinary generator because I, I already have the survivalist generators. So yeah, I uh, I need one of this, yoink, because uh, my power is really low right now. I actually need two of those, so uh, let's see what I can do. Uh, I think I, I should remove those and start cooking iron instead uh, with the remainder of power that I have. Yeah, let's do this. No, not, not, uh, there we go. Also, for my uh, conduit problem, I am making those. There we go. So that's good, right? Now I need to make the actual generator. Where is it? There it is. Uh, yeah, a furnace. That's easy. Yay! Uh, furnace down, generator in the middle, redstone, and iron. Yeah! Culinary generator! So now this will not be that good at first. Like, this is even worse than what I had before. Uh, but if I throw in better food, like like uh, beef for instance, this should be way better. Hang on, I'm gonna cook beef. Uh, I have to admit, <laughs> Uh, turning it into a uh, culinary generator without knowing how good the berries were was a bad idea. Very bad idea. So yeah, uh, waiting for my food to cook. I'm gonna show you. Because like the 5 per tick, it's nice, but it's, it's really not enough. So that, there we go, 32 per tick, that's good. So I'm gonna have some power now. Uh, this is gonna help. It's supposed to to go up. Why is it not going up? Oh, okay. It's filling one side before the other. All right, I can live with that, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, trying to fill up two machines with only five per tick. Yeah, no, that that was not gonna happen. So now I just need to find a good supply of food and sleep through the night. So, uh, yeah, I'll be back when I find what I want to use as food. I'm wondering if I can turn this back into hay. I can! Oh! Okay, yeah, I know what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna take all this uh, hay, uh, turn it into wheat, or some of it. And I'm gonna turn the wheat into seeds, and I'm gonna incorporate this into my my farm over there. So yeah, that's gonna make a fantastic source of food. 
I knew I knew I was right to li to live like beside this this totem thingy. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, let's go uh turn this uh wheat into seeds. Eh, this should suffice. Is that going Yeah, that's going to work. Nice. Tooper. Yay! Ah, oh, food crisis averted. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the thing I'm going to do for the, the, the culinary generator is that when you have wheat, you can crush it into flour. And then you take flour, you cook it once. It's going to give you bread. And once, like, like bread is not like that good, you know, come on, give me bread, hurry up. You're making the audience wait here, Mr. Uh, Alloy Smelter. There we go. So bread is not that good, right? Only 21 RF per tick. But if you look at this, with bread you can make... Huh. Or you cannot make... Wait, what's that? Can, can't I... Huh. Do I not have Pam's Harvest Craft? Oh, I don't. Oh. I thought the Direwolf 20 mod pack had it. Huh. Oh, well. 20 RF per tick. That's better than 5. Huh. I wanted to make toast, though. Oh, well. I guess I'm gonna have to manually install Pam's Harvest Craft. Huh. Why not? I don't know. That's gonna be a bother. It's gonna be bothersome. But at least I have 20 RF per tick instead of 5. So hey, we quadrupled our power. Yay! Let's go make a, uh, a farm with this. Uh, I have my conduit. Yay! Uh, I will need a better source of power here too, so uh, yeah, let's do this. Well, not the power, but the, the the setting up of those things. There we go. This thing here. Uh, this here. Okay, hopefully this is gonna fit nicely and tidy at the same time this there like this yep actually I don't need it to connect there uh, huh I don't know I'm, I'm gonna have an energy cell at some point so I need those to connect for now so this should give it power yes it does good not it's not very fast though uh, Hang on, let's do this. Uh, place for some seed. Don't consume stacks. Place seeds, like this. Uh, seeds have to go... Where do I want to plant seeds? That's my question right now. Okay, let's see. Colors. Um, I don't know what colors are what. Okay, let's just remember that red is occupied. So everywhere but red will be seeds. So hey, let's do this. Everywhere but red. That should be good. Uh, like this. Yeah! I done right! And this corner is not gonna be occupied. Good. So let's place some dirt back. Hopefully this is gonna be good. I I'm gonna uh, keep this open a bit. I'm, I'm just gonna place dirt. And later I will pipe items in there, but I don't know how because I don't have transfers. Uh, uh, item docks, yeah. So uh, hey, for now I'm doing great, right? I mean, I should place glass higher up. One, two, 
glass like this. That way I can access this like that. So I can refill the seeds. Refill. There we go. So, uh, yeah, that's this done. I need more power over there. So, uh, I'm gonna transform there. Ah, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna wait for my harvest to be uh, effective first. Because uh, if I put everything in the same basket, I'm gonna have trouble. You know, I'm gonna make a lot of uh, wheat uh, seeds. Yeah. So, uh, waiting for the seeds to be seeded. I'll be right back. Alright, I uh, went mining for some redstone and I did not get much, but I got some. Uh, I started cooking up some electrum with silver and gold in the alloy furnace that works. Uh, you can also combine the silver and gold dust to get electrum blend and then cook that. Uh, either way works. Uh, I decided to go that way because, I don't know, I felt like it. And uh, I'm gonna make myself some uh, leadstone energy cell. Maybe I will upgrade one to Invar. Uh, I probably will do that actually. So let's get two conductance coils. Uh, I need to make two of those. So I will need lead, uh, which I don't have ready right now. So uh, I'll be back for that. There we go. Energy crisis averted. Yeah! <laughs> Yeah, I'm not that good a builder, I guess. Uh, but now I got leadstone stuff, so let's make two redstone blocks. Because I'm making two energy cells, remember? So, this... I need glass, I think. Yes, I do. Nice. So I got two frames. Uh, what do I need for the cells themselves? I need copper, which I already have. Nice. So let's do this. Yeah, two leadstone energy cells. Those items are basically batteries for your electricity or your power. Uh, I can turn one of them into a hardened energy cell. Yeah. So now I'm going to place this here. And uh, hopefully get my, my cable back. There we go. So place the art on there. And in this interface thingy, you can decide uh, where, like, all your things. Like, uh, the input in energy, the output. Um, in the configuration tab here, you can uh, decide whether the side is an in, uh, input side or output side. Uh, when it's blank like this, it's nothing. When it's orange like this, it's input, uh, it's output, and when it's blue, it's input. So I'm gonna put uh, the two sides there to output. That way, uh, the the machines receive power. So uh, yeah, and it's night right now. Let's sleep. I'm not gonna upgrade the other one into a uh, Arden energy cell because uh, it's only to power the farm and the farm will uh, have only two machines and 80 should be enough. So yeah, let's place this energy cell there. Let's check if there are monsters anywhere and there don't, doesn't seem like there is. So down, and the input will be the side, actually. Yeah, that should be good. And I'm gonna place energy conduits. Uh, like this. Yeah! And place my survivalist generators over there. And now I just need wood. Hey, look at this. A stack of 48. Gives me 64. There we go. This should be plenty power for now. And the uh, culinary generator, well, I will call it a failed plan or something. Because uh, 
it did not go as I thought it would. Like, I thought I had Pam's Harvest Craft on the server. I apparently don't, so, uh, yeah, that's that. I probably won't edit myself because I want you guys to be able to follow me using the, the launcher uh, without having to uh, to bother with the the, the, the the files, you know. So hey, I got energy now. Good. I uh. Yeah, I'm gonna be back uh, when I know what I want to do. Have you ever felt the need of displacing inventories without breaking the chest? Never fear, Jabba is uh, a mod that adds a dolly in which you can move inventories around. Uh, the same mod also adds a bunch of useful stuff for storage. Uh... Hang on. Uh, come on. Any eye, please? Hello? Hello? What the? Ah, there we go. Is that all? Huh, I thought there were more. Anyways, um, yeah, here, uh, you have barrels and then upgrades for the barrels and stuff. Uh,. Yeah, the barrels, they're very good, actually. Hang on, let me... Uh, I need it to be the same wood. Like, let me show you what barrels can be used. There you go. There. Now I can make barrel. A barrel. And if I place it anywhere, uh, it takes a spot. But then I can, like, use the barrel to contain all my cobblestone like it takes only this like it's like a chest but better because it can hold a lot of item and you can upgrade it to hold even more items so like if I take a chest which is 9 times uh, 6 which is 50 uh, yeah 54 um, one barrel holds more than 54 stacks of item, you know, like that's 64 and this is upgradable to like 128 stacks, 256 and so on. So yeah, this is very good and you can move those too, like anywhere you want and they will face whichever face you're like facing, you know, like it turns as you turn. So that's good, right? Right? Right, and it's also very useful to move, like, when you, can I do this? No, I cannot, okay, uh, when, w like, when you, you upgrade your house, and, like, because you have a tiny house like mine, you can, like, just move your chest with the dolly, and you don't have to, uh, to fear, um, mixing your items and stuff like that, you know? So hey, that's Jabba. All right. So now we saw uh, the Jabba barrels. Um, now let's put them to use. As you can see, this chest is backlog, like it's full, and the machine won't work if the chest is full. So yeah, we need to uh, place everything in this chest into barrels. Otherwise, uh, the automation won't work, you know? So, how do I get the items from the chest uh, into the barrels? At first, I wanted to use item docks, but um, I, there's no item docks in this server ever because the mod pack uh, doesn't have them, apparently. Uh, but that being said, there is an item called transfer node and per with item in between parentheses uh, don't get confounded with the liquid transfer node you want the items transfer node and there's two recipe for this one with ender pearl which gives four of them and a cheaper one well cheaper quote unquote because i don't have much redstone but still uh, which gives one transfer node but still uh, i i can do this because i don't have any ender pearl uh, also you need 
a uh, sort of pipe from extra utility. You can use any of them. I'm gonna use a uh, transfer pipe, just standard, you know. So I need glass. I already have glass. Yay! Let's do this. Like this. And so, eight of them. Yay! And now I need this, as we've seen in the recipe. And then this. And this. A chest. And two stones. Yeah! I got my first transfer node! And now you can just place the transfer node uh, on the chest like this. You could place it on the harvester itself. But uh, there's a chance that it will still backlog with that. So I'm using the chest as a buffer. And I'm going to remove the, the crafting station. There we go. I'm going to cut a bit of dirt. There we go. Fantastic. And now I'm going to... Oops, I thought I had a torch. <laughs> uh, now I'm going to place my barrels uh, in such a fashion that I can... Uh, stack items in them. Oh, that, that already connects. Cool. Nice. So let's do this. Now, this is not very efficient and blah, 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 blah. I don't care. If you want to do it your way with something else, you can. I'm just doing this because it's easier for me right now. Because my resource uh, resources are quite low right now. Actually, I'm gonna make torches. Give me a second. Uh, torch. I need wood. Wee, wood, wood! There we go. 42. Nice. Why? Why is it laggy? I don't know. It should not be laggy. Oh well. So let's place torches. There we go. That's good. So now you just want to place your transfer pipes in uh, such a fashion, like this. And uh, this is personal preference, you don't have to do this. But I like to shift right click the barrels to lock their uh, item inside. I will need to come up with a better way, because I'm missing barrels right now. I don't have enough for all the item types. So... Uh, I'm just going to put more barrels. So yeah, we uh, automated, well semi-automated, I still need to add seeds and stuff in that. But for now, this will have to do, because, uh, you know, we're, we're uh, I cannot talk. We are really low on redstone, and I don't want to abuse. And, uh, you know, right now, things work, so, hey hey! So, uh, welcome to our first automation, the farm. Yay, yay! This only took two episodes, I'm happy. So, uh, I would like to thank you for watching, and as always, join me next time on Let's Play Minecraft 1.7.10. Bye-bye!